Ho, ho, blame it on the Rona. I was trying to do the Millie Vanilli song, Blame It on the Rain. Wasn't that their song? Oh, this is going to be my song for tonight. It's going to be on Blame It, Blame It on the I can't, I don't, I can't remember the melody though. <clears throat> if you watch this in the replay, go ahead and tell me a few things you bought during this Rona, Rona apocalypse. Because, you know, we sit in the house. What else is there to do but shop? Right? Well, there's other things we could be doing with ourselves, but let's face it, we're shopping. So, ow. So, yeah, I've uh, I've done a little damage. There's a there's an avalanche on my afterpay. There's a that I have got to address because the avalanche on afterpay is serious. So I'm, I'm trying to address that. <laughs> I'm trying to address that. Because <sighs> it's, it's serious, y'all. So anyway, I did some damage in March. Apparently more than I thought I was doing. Hey, Lisa. Apparently more than I thought I was doing. So <clears throat> we're going to finish up the March haulage. And we're going to uh, just, you know... Go over some shoes. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tracy. We're just going to do some shoes and some perfume. Because we already did all the beauty stuff. Hi, Elise. We did all the beauty stuff. So let's just, let's just go straight to the shoes because the shoes will be fast. Um, DSW is trying to take all our money. I did. I did. You know, and that's kind of what happened. I was doing good until I really saw that I wasn't going to have a birthday party. That I wasn't going to see my friends and stuff. Tara! I wasn't going to see my friends. And so it, it kind of like, it went from there to a serious avalanche. And it doesn't help that they putting all the stuff on sale. And I know I should be better, but I wasn't. Okay, I was sort of, maybe, not really. Okay, forget it. Um, anyway. Now, the shoes came because DSW was doing 40% off clearance. So I had to do it. But now, I don't know if they still have 40% off. Then they did 40% off everything. Did y'all see that? They were doing 40% off everything. And for every $25 that you spent, you got $5 points. $5 in points. So you know, you know, the DSW stock is just piling up and piling up and piling up. So anyway... When it was just 40%, how many pairs of shoes did I buy? Seven pairs of shoes. It was, it was the good, the deals were too good. I just had to do it. So let's just get started with shoes. We'll get them out the way and then we'll go on to the perfume. So the first shoes, and I've been wearing them, are these darling little Reeboks. So I got these little Reeboks because I need, I need to get some more gym shoes because I'm not a gym shoe buyer, but I'm trying to, you know, be a little more active, walk a little more, stuff like that. So I got these gym shoes. Um, and let me just say, all seven pairs of shoes was under $200. So I mean, it was ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Right, I'm trying to, I'm trying, I was trying to sing that melody because isn't that Millie Vanilli Blame It On The Rain? But I can't remember the melody. So I was, so we, you know, it's the Rona that's doing it to me. It's the Rona. So then I got these. Now these are like, y'all gonna go, what? So let me show y'all these. So these are these Lucky Brand Oxfords. B saw these, she's like, these are so not you. But I picture this. Picture it. See, I was trying to do, blame it on them. But you know what? When Millie Vanilli, you know, when they left, we just left, we lost all their music. I was trying to, oh, hey, Coco, but picture these. These are for like work, wearing them with jeans and leggings when I'm having to run up and down the stairs. So I got these for that. And they're suede. So I was like, okay, and they're suede. Because I was looking, I was like, oh, $20 for some suede shoes. Aren't they? <laughs> they are. <laughs> 1995. Let me tell you this. The 1995 I didn't wear. The reason why B is saying that is because I have been, I've worn high heels forever. 
So I'm trying to wear lower heels too, cause I'm you know what? I'm up and down um the stairs of school, so you know. I was thinking that through. Okay, so then next up are these Steve Mattens. So I got these. These are for next winter, obviously. But aren't they so cute? These are so cute for jeans and stuff. These are so cute. They got the little furry stuff in them. I was like, okay, okay. And these are suede too, right? Okay, next up are these. Now I'm, I'm debating these. I got these. The only reason why I'm debating them is because of the cuts right here. Not because of the heel height. The heel height is fine. Um, right, but because the way Jessica Simpson makes these a lot of times, this does not have enough room for my, but my foot is a little swollen. I haven't been feeling well. So I said, okay, hold off on getting rid of these because they're so damn cute. And if I don't like them, I'm going to throw them on my car because I got them at a really, really, really good deal. So I said, okay, hold on to them. And if you just really feel that you're not going to wear them, throw them on my car. Yeah, it's just not, It when I tried them on, it just didn't have enough give right here. It was like, huh. And I don't know what's going on with her shoes because her shoes used to be so very comfortable. I don't know what's going on with the cuts on them now. Um, but they were so inexpensive, so... Like I said, yeah, um, they, but they didn't always be like that. Hi, hi, IBG. Okay, now I got another bag from the shoes. This came yesterday. Hi, Janine. Yeah. I didn't open it yet, obviously. Look, I'm like, I didn't open it yet, obviously, Louise. We did not open it yet. Because we're opening it now. Okay, so now I got three pairs of shoes right here. Okay. Let's see these. I have to try all these shoes on tomorrow. Okay, so then I got these. Aren't these adorable? You cannot get these kind of shoes if you have a bigger foot, though. This is a seven and a half. Not I bought it. I think I bought it too big because I'm a seven, six and a half, seven. But I mean, these will make your feet look huge. If you have a big foot, man, your stuff will be looking so. But I like them because they're pointy toed. I like the pointy toedness of them. I was like, okay, okay. Hey, Kelly, how are you? So I got those. What's going on here? Huh, these don't even have a top to them. And then I got these. And these are gonna give such good toe cleavage. Do y'all see the toe cleavage on these? These are, I thought, okay, I need a pair of cute little black flats. And so I got those, yes. I think these are gonna be, woo, see, I can't see you wearing them shoes. Would you wear those shoes? Right, the toe cleavage? Yes, yes. Is another pair of Jessica Simpsons. Um, see, because I think they're gonna make my feet look big. But see, you're also tall. Wheel of Death. So, am I back? I keep seeing it. I can see you all though. Okay, so can you can you all see me now? Cause I can see you. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Okay, so then I got these. We're gonna see how these fit too. If they don't, 
Mercari it is. But I thought these were so pretty. Look at that pale pink for the summer. The pale pink. Look, and then, look, I got all these shoes and then I'm gonna be sitting on my back porch and shit. So that was the haul. Yes, yes, it's got the zipper up the back, so it makes it easier. Makes it easier to get around. Oh, I gotta put this right here so I don't lose it. Okay. What, okay. So let's talk fragrances. Now I gotta remember where I put that fragrance. Right? Yes, I love a zipper up the back. It just, because it gives you a look, but then it's gotta be that stability of that zipper. I like the zippers. I like the zippers. Okay, so, oh yeah, I cannot stand. I'm too old now to be trying to do that whole buckling thing <laughs> with them little bitty ass straps. Hey, Kim, so yeah, I'm good. Okay, so, the fragrance haul. We know the epic green tea haul that happened, right? We know the epic green tea haul happened right there. All the green teas are right there. Hey, y'all, green tea time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But there were some other things I got in March, so I'm gonna do separate. Now, I'm not gonna go and grab everything because some of them I've talked about so much, y'all tired of hearing about them. So I got um, Honor by, um, I got the Honor from whatever they call. Oh, Honor, Amouage Honor. I got the Parfait de Roses. I got the Rose Greedy. I got the Velvet Vanilla. Oh, I got, um, did I even talk about this? What the hell did I do with it? Oh, oh, I didn't really talk about this one. Um, I got this. This is a little mini. This is the Pivone, Pivone Pronton. Yes. So we have Pivone Pronton. So this is one of the Maison Lancomes. They have a few of them available in the mini ones. These are one ounce. This is a 30 mil. So this is about one ounce. So they have a few of them available like this. Not all of them. And so I wanted to get some like this because I don't need the big bottles of everything. And this is absolutely heavenly. This is something like, I don't think I need a full bottle, but if you want it, this is, this is full bottle worthy. I just don't need one now because I have this because, you know, I'm, I, I'm, listen, listen. Um, and, right, and the bottles are so pretty, even this one. So, you know, they got the little, but they just stamped it on in gold, you know, as opposed to using the gold metal. But these are like, these run for $75 for a 30 mil. But I didn't pay $75. I got this on super sale. Use some, use my Nordstrom dollars. I paid like 30 some dollars for it. So, but I do like it. It's a spicy um, peony. And I have found that I love peony. I didn't need to find that out because you know what's gonna happen soon. You know what's you know what was happening in my head right now. I'm like peony. I like peony. I didn't know I liked peony. Ooh, peony is pretty. See right, peony rose to rose. <sighs> okay, so then I also got the um. Nina Ricci La Ecstasy um uh La Ecstasy uh, Rose Absolu. I got that. Um and then now the Velvet Vanilla, because I really, really I kind I haven't really talked about that much. The Velvet Vanilla, because I've been all into the Parfait de Roses and the um and Lang Lang. Yes, I love me some Lang Lang. This is the Tuba Rose. This is one of those bubble gummy ones though. This is a serious bubblegummy tuberose. So it has that bubblegum vibe to it. Very sweet, very vanilla, really pretty. This is definitely is more fall and winter because it is very sweet. I would not wear, you know, it's, it's a little sweet. It's a little, it's a little sweet. All right, so there's that. And then of course I got the Bordeaux and fig and cherry. I got the Bordeaux, and this is Pivon and Rhubarb. Um, Pivon and Rhubarb. So I have quite a few of these. Um, 
Yeah, the two bros is bubble gummy. Ooh, that felt is it's if you like bubble gummy tuberoses, that's one for you. All right, so we got the pig bone pronton. Let's put her back. All right, then um, I got the. Does this have anything? Oh, I, oh, I'm sorry, but I, I I glossed over these early in the month. I got the Joe Malone's. I got the Nashi Blossom and the Cherry. Sakura cherry blossom. I have to tell the truth. Me and the Nashi blossom, I don't know about her and me. I've been trying. I've been trying to like her. Um, but I don't really smell her on me. Cause I look, I've been using her. Um, I don't smell her that much on me. So I'm trying to play with her, see, you know, if she's gonna be a, you know, she's kind of disappointing me right now. But I do like the Sakura cherry blossom, but these are very light. So they're very, they're pretty, but they're light. Now, I don't mind because I didn't pay that much for them. You know, I didn't pay Joe Malone pricing. So I'm okay with them. But, um, and then, so what I'm trying to figure out is how to layer them. Because they're definitely gonna, they're definitely gonna need to be layered with something. Because on their own, they're not that strong. <laughs> um, you might be doing that one. Cause I'm going back and forth with it. Cause I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know, y'all. She just ain't doing it for me. Okay, so I did that. Then I kept hearing about this, so I happened to get a cup. Okay, so first off, let's roll back. I actually now think I like Alien. I don't know how that happened, but I do like Alien now. Those are the ugliest bottles ever. I mean, Nicki Minaj bottles take tacky to new um, levels. They take tacky to new levels. Right. Well, no, it was something about, I no, I just tried it recently, but I don't know. I tried it again and it started smelling good on me. I don't know what it was. Um, she does, because when you start buying Nicki Minaj, you go ahead and them ugly things sitting on your dresser. You gonna have them ugly Nicki Minaj bust? Ooh, ooh. So I have been hearing about Essence Absolute, Alien Essence Absolute, and so I found it because it's discontinued. And but it's everybody, they're beyond hideous. Um, everybody talks about it that oh my god, it's just like so good, it's so good, it's so good. Yeah, she's pretty tacky on her own. I mean, they put a bust of her. I mean, those things are terrible. Okay, so anyway. Um, so, where did I get this mug from? Them? I'm sorry, I'm just thinking about something. Right, yeah, they're just ugly. Okay, so then I heard about it. I found this on fragranceby.ca, the one in Canada, and I got it, okay? This is Alien Absolute Baby. This stuff is like seriously vanilla, and it smells heavenly. If you like Scandal, Scandal by Night, it doesn't have the honey, but it's in that, it's that kind of sexy kind of vibe. It's very similar. Um, Mm. Um, they're kind of all around me but I turn the lights off when I'm not in here and then there's the sunlight doesn't hit them at all so the way my window is where my where all my stuff is the sunlight doesn't hit them and so I turn all the lights off when I'm done so they don't get much light it, it seems like a lot of light but these are LED lights so there's no, not a lot of heat so no, this smells heavenly. Shell, you like Scandal by Night? You will like this. It's jasmine rich, true enough, but it's really pretty. It's just very pretty, pretty, pretty. Mm -mm -mm. I liked it so much. And since it is, you know, discontinued, I wound up ordering the two ounce refill because this is refillable. So I wound up getting the two refill on eBay. 
Oh, Nick, right, Nikki and Kim K. Um, so this is like uh, the the refill bottle. Yeah, I don't even know. I'm never taking it off. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So this is the refill bottle. So I have two ounces. So I have this, cause this is only 30 mil. And I was like, I don't know if I only have 30 mil, I'm gonna try not to use it as much, but it's really, really pretty. It does have that um, alien DNA. So it's very strong Jasmine, but it has vanilla and it has, um, it's, it's like I said, it, it, it is very reminiscent of Scandal by Night. They very, they kind of like are very in that same genre. Except Scandal has more has honey, of course. This is very vanilla rich, very vanilla. So amber, and you know the amber in it. Yeah, you know if you're not getting a lot of sunlight, and then if your room, you just gotta make sure the temperatures, um, right, right. Okay, well yeah, I give you, I give you a little sun. Don't worry about it. Okay. Then of course I got the Bulgaris right here. This is um, these are the Splendidas. This is Magnolia Sensual, and then I got um, Tuberos Mystique. First off, these bottles are gorgeous. I mean, this blue is just intensely gorgeous. So let me do the Magnolia Sensual because this is the one that I'm. Um, I don't know if I'm a, a, a nosmic to it or something. Um, listen, I got a setup already here. I'm not putting glass floating shelves. I got my mama and I got purses. It ain't gonna work. That I can't have everything on one wall. Sorry. So, mm, I'm not sure about this one. The one thing I will say is that it doesn't really last on me that well. Maybe. This is definitely, okay, first off, this is definitely a summer scent because it's very floral. Um, it's it's a citrusy floral. That's what it is. Um, so I want to wear it. Um, no, I'm not moving my purses. I like my purses. It's not about you, Michelle. So, um, yeah, I like them. Besides the fact this is an apartment, I start putting glass shelves. I'm gonna have to take the glass shelves down when I move. Let's not forget I don't own this place. This is not a condo. I put glass shelves up. I'm putting holes all in this damn wall. And I am not you and can't fit, fill in holes. So I, it's kind of like, but it's kind of got a soapy smell to it. Not sure about this one. But, but I do like the, I, I like the, bottle so even if I'm not wearing a lot I forgot a way to layer it but I do like the bottle I do like the bottle and now the tuberose one is gorgeous the tuberose one is not as strong as velvet vanilla so like if if you don't want to have that super um you're just trying to organize my life if you don't want to have that super vanilla that super um uh but velvet vanilla because it's like super bubble gummy super vanilla tuberose this is like a lighter version of it so you still get that kind of um bubble gummy tuberosey vibe um but it's just not quite as strong and then this kind of got like a a little sp a spiciness to it I, I forget the notes are in here but it has a like slight spiciness to it it's very pretty so yeah, I like this one. Now this one, I just, I don't know. I don't even know how I wound up with this one. Okay, I know how I wound up with it. I bought it. You know, it's like I bought it. Okay, you bought it, Louise. Stop lying to yourself. You bought it. Anyway, I wound up buying Alien. I mean, Angel. Now this is the EDT. And this is uh, in the, the, the bottle first off is so cute. I mean, look at this bottle. This bottle is gorgeous. Um, it, this is the one they call it the Comet one. Now, 
I have not liked Angel in years. Now, when it first came out, Angel was one of my, as they say, signature scents. Wore this shit for years. But as I got older, it didn't really smell as good on me. Um, where's my wine? Oh, I'm not drinking wine today because I'm not going to stay on super long because I was on all night last night. And I wound up with kittens in my bed. Well, let me tell you, I like it. I love it. It's a fresher, lighter version of Angel. It's a fruity, it's, it's actually more fruit, it's kind of fruity smelling. I like it. Um, I'm glad I bought, ooh, this got a magnetic closure. Boom, yes. Um, I really like it. Because the, re the other, I know Tara, I know y'all, it's happening, yeah. Two of them getting picked up on Sunday. But yeah, it's a very fresh, lighter version of Angel because Angel is so patchouli heavy and it's just like, it's, it's, it has too much. This is beautiful. And for a 12 EDT, it lasts pretty long because I put it on, I, swore, I sprayed it on the day before. And I, oh, when I was, you know, in the evening and I could smell it in the morning. So it's really, really pretty. Really, uh, I liked it. I like it a lot. Oh, I like her a lot. I know I'm missing a lot because I'm trying to. Hi, Navon. Do you say it like that, Navon? Um, welcome. Um, I, you know, I know. <laughs> I know that I am. Uh, put. I, I know I'm missing quite a few because I know I got more stuff. But you know, we're gonna go with what I say right now. Now I got some royalty sense, but I don't know what the hell happened to them. Oh. oh these are the ones that i got we talked about those i got um okay i feel better i'm like which ones did i get this month i got athalia and i got creed the virgin island water so we did talk about these so so i did who's november songbird is there somebody else here oh november songbird hello Hello, I didn't even notice you too. Hello, because I'm like, November Songbird? Well, thank you for subscribing. So I did get, um, um, yes. Now when you're trying to sleep and they're trying to play on. Um, so I got Creed um, Virgin Island Water, which I like. I actually do want this. Um, it's such a pretty, I don't, okay, let me say, I'm not gonna get it anytime soon because Creed is expensive. But Creed, it, this is such a really nice summer scent. You know, it's got that, it, it, it smells like you're on the Virgin Islands. You know, it smells like the Virgin Islands. It's, you know, it's got that coconutty smell. It's got that rum in it, some sugar. It smells like you, you just got a cocktail on. So like you sprayed yourself with your cocktail, like the cocktail, it's like the cocktail, you know, um, spilled on you, but it smells good because it's not too alcoholy. Peggy is Bianca's. So Peggy was already staying. The one that I am keeping is Kali, the goddess of destruction, which is the little one with a spot on the back. And then I got Athalia, which is a perfumes de Marley. I am, I like the scent. It's just really, it's not, it doesn't perform as well as I would say for something this, this price point. You know, you, you spend an, retail retail this is like two something 300 at two something 300 um it should not fade away that it shouldn't fade away but it is a really pretty scent so i'm i'm gonna play with it again see how it works because i really do like it okay so now this is the last things that i got well okay for now until i got one tracking order today i'm waiting for two more but that will be an all brand haul, one brand haul that will be coming up as soon as I get my hot little hands on everything. So let me show you the two things I got that just came. So first off, I got this. I got Serge Luton Shergi. Now I'm always hearing about this damn thing. Shergi this, Shergi that. <laughs> right right you know that price point 
I need it to stay on. I need it to be strong on my skin. For two something, 300? Because I think the retail on Athalia is about two something. I don't think it's three or five, but it's damn close to it. Now, of course, I would never pay that. You know, you can get it much cheaper than that. Okay, so anyway, you got Serge Luton Shergi. Now, this is like kind of cultish um, in the frag community, as they say. And so I have been playing, I, I've take, put it in my cart, taking it out my cart, put it in my cart, taking it out my cart. He be killing me with this. When Serge Luton, when you buy one, when you buy one of his uh, fragrances, um, they always come like, this. oh, I, ooh, this is the newer bottle. Oh snap, this is the new bottle. I thought it was the old bottle. The old bottles look like this, like my Detour Noir. They're with the white ones. But this is the sleek, right? Um, this is a, like the black one, okay. So this is called Shergi. And this is very, very like popular in the fragrance community. It's like, you know, one is such a fabulous fa fragrance. I know that one of the things they always talk about that it has this hay um, note in it, whatever that means. But anyway, so this is Shergi. So we gotta see what it smells like. Yeah, I like the darker ones better than the light ones. Hi, Stampy, how are you? Yes, it is dark. Uh, it's a dark, yes, it's dark. Uh, I hope this is okay. Okay. Oh, this is super spicy. This is um, definitely something to wear in the summer, in the fall and winter, because this is super spicy. Definitely, I'm gonna do like, um, I want a couple more Serge Luton's. Once I do that, I'm gonna do, um, go over all of my Serge Luton's. Um, oh, you got some Charmin, go girl. You know, it's the little things in life now. You know, if you can get you some toilet, a good, a good roll of toilet paper, I got a high five you on that one. Yeah, this is, um, spicy i i get the hay point because there's this this note in here that smells different than what i'm used to sir luton is known for really interesting very um it, did you get the ultra soft because if you got the charmin ultra soft i might have to buy that out for you yeah and serge serge luton is very known for these very intricate, very um, complex scents. And this is one. So I would have to put this on my skin. It smells okay. I don't know if this is necessarily, this is a blind buy, of course, if this is really my style. But in the in the fall and winter, I might, it might smell glorious on. Like this isn't where I am right now, but I do get the hay scent it, to it. And I can see why this is um, unisex. Because this is definitely a unisex fragrance. And if they lean too masculine, I don't like them. So I don't know if I'm going to like this thing. All right. So here's the, the, the last one that I got. Y'all know this is what happens with me. Let's, so this, this is Alien Oud Majestic. Majestic. What else do I love? I love a good Oud. And this is a oud with jasmine. And I, I kind of like, I wanted another one because I do have oud velvet is a jasmine oud. Usually, um, um, usually uh, 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 ouds are filled with rose. They're usually met, paired with rose. So a, ju a jasmine one is interesting. So now let me, but let me, this, this packaging though is love. So let me just tell you what it says, okay? Adorn yourself with Alien Oud Majestu, an oriental fragrance that sets sensuality ablaze. The freshness of cardamom vibrates in the initial notes, bringing out flamboyant notes of saffron, jasmine, and cashmere. 
cashmere and wood, distinguished alien's authentic signature. Enhanced by the dazzling swirls of the oud accord, the luxurious revelation lingers in the captivating and delightful trail. Right, I'm kind of digging the flankers more than the alien. Now, let's just talk about this packaging. Okay, so check this out. One thing you can say about Mugler, Mugler, his packaging is to die for. So watch this. Cute. And now, let me tell you, this shit is strong because I can smell it and I have not done anything with it. Right? Isn't it just darling? Oh, and my God, not even see the mirror in there. I did not even see the mirror in there. So let's see how she smells. No, I got stuff on there. Let's make a video for this one. Isn't it fancy, fancy? And then if you look, it's got the little, it's all gold and everything. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep that in the box because that box is too cute. Okay. You see, I just said that. Hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, I can see that because the beginning is not that wonderful. Yeah, I'm looking at the alien musk. I haven't gotten it yet, but I am looking at it at least. <sighs> okay, yeah. When it first, when I first sprayed it, it didn't smell that good. The oud was a little skanky. Mm. Oh, <laughs> muggler. <laughs> oh, but it is pretty. And it does have the alien DNA, but it's a, it's a little different. You definitely get the spiciness from it. You definitely get that saffron. Little cardamom. Yeah, this this is interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it on just to see how it smells on the skin. But I mean, the presentation though. Goodness, this presentation is gorgeous. I mean, some. Hey, we're gonna put you back in, baby. We're gonna put you back in. And like this part is like, oh, okay. It's just, you know, a little gold box. Okay, thank you for the gold box. But you gotta open it up and be like, Whoa. Okay. When you first put it on, mm -hmm. doesn't smell good in the beginning. But now it's starting to um, dry down and much better. Yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah, it's getting better as it dries down. In the beginning, it's, it's like a skanky ass oud. So, but it didn't last long. But it still has a bite the back bite of that skanky oud but the jasmine is starting to win out <laughs> so it's giving the jasmine oud i would say honestly though of the two and i'm gonna have to let this stay on at the moment i still like oud velvet better as a jasmine oud i'm not getting no damn gas shams <sighs> Oh, I'm sleepy. Yeah, okay, it's starting to smell better on. This is definitely something that I would probably need to let it dry down. So you are don't 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 entertain her, Melissa. Do not entertain her. Do not entertain her madness. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, she's cute. Um, it's um, it's kind of powdery. It's kind of got a powdery, musky kind of vibe to it. Interesting. It is an interesting scent. There's a couple more that I want to try. Do not entertain her. Do not entertain her. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Do not do that. Do not do that. Okay, so I did. Look at me. I have finished a haul in hardly any time. I'm proud of myself. I am proud of myself. Oh, just got to take these moments and treasure them. Treasure them. So I'm about to pull my hair up. So we'll sit here and talk for a minute while I do that. Because I'm, I'm a little sleepy. I'm a little tired. Um, I didn't sleep well last night. And then I had to, you know, do some work. And I got a little, I think I got stressed out from work. Not really super but just a little bit. They got on my nerves. So anyway, oh, so for the for y'all to understand, I did, I am setting up the whole membership thing. We're gonna see how that works. So I did set it up. So we will see how it works. Um, it will give me this, the opportunity to, you know, do some, talk about things and say some things that I don't necessarily. Okay, you can, you, that, you don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> right, so I can, I can, you know, talk about things that I don't necessarily, because I can do um, live streams. Uh, I think I did. I think I did. I can't remember because I looked at so many of them. Hi, Miss V. Oh, shit. I looked at so many of them. Let's just do this right. Um, so yeah, so I'm trying to be good though because, like I said. Um, well, okay, so the way it works, okay, so let me tell, oh, so I'm going to tell y'all some things about this, very interesting. Um, so the way it works is um, you, they give you the access to it, and then you have to like set it up, and then they have to review like what you've set up, because when you do, when you set it up, you have to get perks. You have to say, okay, for this, this is what they're going to get. And so you have to get your perks. Now, the thing with it is, and I didn't do this, um, you can put all these different levels. Like you say for this level, you know, like, you know, this is platinum or whatever you want to call it. You can put that, you can put different levels in and charge, you know, different pricing and whatever. I ain't doing all that. That's too much work. So all I did was just one thing. Um, so, but when you do it, you have to give at least one perk. Like what are they getting for the money? Which makes sense. So you had so you had to put like some perks in there. So when if you look at it, so when it comes up on my when they if they if they approve it, it comes up on the channel when you come in and you see that little join thing. And so then it'll tell you, you know, what the perk, you know, it'll just give you the little stuff that they told me I could say. Um so once that um no no, this is through um YouTube. Now, once they do that, though, and the reason why I kind of like it with YouTube is that it gives me the ability to do some things right through YouTube. Like, um, I can do posts that are specific for members. Um, like, you know, if I'm doing something like saying, hey, we're going to, you know, I want to do this. I could do a post that's specifically for the members only to see um, or and things like that. And so there are some things I can do with it. And so I got to figure out how to play with it once I, if, you know, once they approve, you know, they're going to approve it. They told me I, I can do it um, because I haven't been able to do it because it was, it was on bigger channels. And like I said, I've, um, I was going, you know, the whole thing about it was kind of like, should I do it? You know, if they give me the option, because in the beauty community, you know, folks act like, how dare you say something like that or want something like that, you know? Um, I don't know. It's kind of, it's a weird community because like other communities, 
it's not a big deal. You know, people do this all the time and people join people's stuff all the time. But something about the beauty community, they just really like act like, oh my God. Cause like, you remember when people were like, oh my God, you've got a Patreon account. You want people to give you money. But once again, channels do cost money. And, and you know, we ain't, we're not um, network TV with budgets. Um, so, so, you know, it's like, um, and I was like, huh, oh, okay. But it does give me the ability to do, um, yes, the beauty community is very weird about the people who put out content for it. Because you want, because the beauty community wants all this content. They want you to go out and buy the stuff, but then they don't want you to make money off of it. You know, it's very weird. It's very weird. Other communities are not like that. You know, they be like, yay, you can, yes, charges, yes. Oh, make that money, get the sponsorships, do this. That's the way other ones are. The beauty community is, oh my God, you got a sponsorship. You've changed. You're a terrible person now. It's just a very um, weird place in the, you know, and I get it on a certain level because if you spot, if you're doing sponsorships and you are saying something is great that really isn't just for the money, okay, that's wrong. But the reality is that's kind of like what happens with commercials all the time. We watch commercials all the time and that don't necessarily mean the stuff is great and people got paid to do them. I'm just saying. Okay. That's just my thought. But anyway, so that I was kind of ambivalent about doing it, but I did and we'll see what happens. Okay, it is pretty once it dries down. Okay. <laughs> kind of reminds me of something that is smoke before though. So anyway, um, we'll see what happens and if it shows up or whatever, we'll see. You know, I'm not Well, yes, it was, but I think part of their shady behavior was based on the fact that they knew people were going to be like, it's like a catch-22. Were they shady just, just because, or were they being shady because they knew that people were going to like judge them and say, oh my God, you're changed and everything. So it's like, yeah, I don't, you know, who knows? Who knows? Now you do, because listen, I watch other stuff and they're clearly people who are being paid to say certain things, but they never disclose it. And I mean, you can tell talking points. If you know anything about, you know, writing or things like advertising, you can tell a talking point, especially when you're watching multiple videos and you hear the kind of same thing from other people. So there, there's a lot of being, payment being done. Um, and a lot of, yeah. Oh, we right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, serious sponsorships. That makes sense because like, uh, what is it? Mr. Kate, they're, um, they're sponsored by, what is it? Home Depot or Lowe's. I think they're with Lowe's and that's just a running sponsorship for them. They use them all the time. Right. And, and here's my thing. You live off the grid, but you get st stuff sponsored. That's a oxymoron, but okay. That's just my thought process. Who, who am I to say anything? Okay, so, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, that makes sense, solar battery, batteries. Um, I am going to put all the stuff away, I think. Okay, stuff that makes sense for what they do, but still. Um, I'm gonna put all this stuff away somehow. Right, they're living off the grid and making YouTube, but you know that's a big thing, you know, doing stuff like that because that's how you that's how you pay for living off the grid is doing YouTube videos and stuff. I mean, look at look at Carol Baskin, she's making a mint off of YouTube with her 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 tiger rescue stuff. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. It was good talking to y'all. I'm really, um, right. You're really not off the grid. Well, you know, they're, well, living off the grid is saying that you're using, um, mm hmm right. They have drone for, oh my, okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Because that's the most not living off the grid. Coco. 
um, I wasn't gonna say that, but exactly. Right, they're just off the power grid. Um, I wasn't gonna say that, but I wasn't gonna say it, but fragrance that the B layered fragrances, right? The B layer fragrances, they pay it, everybody. The, uh, they pay it because everybody, and they're like, oh my God, they're the best thing ever. I've never seen so many positive vi videos about a brand in my entire life. I have, I have never, I have yet, I've only heard one person say a negative. Oh yeah, Carol offed him. Carol got rid of him. We all know that. Carol Baskin got rid of him. Now, can anybody prove she did? Nope. Yes, be layered is. No. Because it's it has a little too much oof for you. Coco, it has a little too much oof for you. Because it's very similar to oof velvet. And oof velvet was too much for you. So no, you do not need it. Yeah, mm -mm. I could mm -mm. because that that opening would kill you. What would be a good um? Oh yeah, they all sleazy. Um, let me see what what I think would be a good first oud. Okay, so you want to go with a rose oud combination because that's the classic, which is a rose oud, very classic. Now, honestly. Honestly, I would say to try this one. Um, Inara Oud. Oud, um, Oud is um, a, a wood, agar wood. And Oud is the, the um, when it gets a fungus and it creates this scent profile. And so, they use oud, they use the agar wood that has been um, infected and um, yeah, yeah, they're 55, yeah, they're, yeah, for $60, yeah. Well, I mean, for some things, now I do know they do make some of their own scents, so I would be willing, I would try their scents, you know, but it's just like everybody is like, on the B layered bandwagon. Um, but anyway, this is Swiss Arabian. This is an Ara Oud. And the reason why I say that is because it's got, the, it's a rose, but it's a really pretty floral Oud. So the Oud is, is there and you, can, and you can get a sense for the Oud, but it's not so prominent that it becomes a little skanky. This is a really pretty, deep, rich, scent and i and so I, if i was going to start out with the oud this would be a nice one because it, it it's a very rich deep mm -hmm. it's um a, a very rich deep scent it's got a little um but and it has a little i think valerian in it so it gives a slight herbal scent but it's it's a rose vanilla oud and that that trio is really good together if it's done right and so I like this one Swiss Arabian Inara oud it's really pretty and it and it's not so strong like Club de Nuit intense that's a very strong one um, the saffron rose absolute it is it, very light lightweight oud. <sighs> Now, if you just want to have a little oud in there, but you really just really don't want to have it, um, Lay Ali is a nice floral with oud in it. But of the two, I think you will probably like Anara oud better because you like you tend to like Manseras and stuff. Um. Hi, Erica. Yeah, I don't have any problem with dupes or buying copies. I don't have a problem with it, but let me say this. 
I just won't buy the co the copy just to be buying it. Delina. Um, so that's kind of where I am. If and right, see, well, but, man, Sarah's such a it's a beast. It's a beast mode. Um, the thing would be layered, and that's just me personally, is that I've been hearing about it too much, and I know a lot of these people are getting paid for it because the talking points are very similar. I mean, you hear you hear very similar verbiage from quite a few of them. So I know they're getting paid to do these things. And so I'm just like, and, and there is not, I mean, I have yet to hear anybody say anything bad about them. Everybody loves them. Oh my God, they're so good. Oh, they're even better than the originals, which makes me question them because no, nah, everything can't be that perfect. No, no company is that perfect. So that's why I'm like, I'm suspect. Now I'm in a, in a fragrance group and somebody said they couldn't stand the smell of it. But, but like, you know, when you keep hearing every reviewer like, oh, this is so good. This is the best. Oh my God. Oh my God. And I, then I got to start going, hmm, I don't trust you. But that's just me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to go to sleep because I'm really tired. Um, so it's time for me to go to bed. Thank you all for hanging out with me and putting all this stuff away. The issue is putting away these damn 21 ass and don't say glass shelf. My uh, green tea collection. <sighs> Love you too, Tara. Thank you all so much. It was good seeing you all. Good seeing you all. Uh, probably Friday night will be a very late night one. It'll probably be one of those, I went to sleep, woke up. Don't be surprised if I ain't on it like one or two o'clock in the morning tomorrow. I'm just letting you know. It's probably how it's going to roll. All right. Talk to you later.